this fight. Your Excellency, sir, if the issues that we discovered were just in the specific location of the country, the same thing must be necessary. We would have just gone straight to that part of the country and we enumerate it and we will be back. But the issues are spread across. And this is what we keep explaining about the three localities. These are localities that are spread across the rural areas, which we need to put them together and form an immigration area. So yesterday I presented the parliament, and then everyone saw it. That, OK, yes, there is a need for this to happen. Because it's spread across the country. And now, we said, in 2018, 2019, we were discussing this, and also started going to the world. So we have seen this, and more times you are interested in supporting the national statistical system. But we cannot go forward if the basis that we are coming from is not solid enough for us to be able to understand the issues. And we continue to back on the ground that we Yes, there was a justification for all of this, and this is why the bank has been with us until recently, very recently, but in the seventh of December, the presidency. So we are grateful to the bank for the, the support. We are now capacitated, and we feel sad that after all the support the bank has given us, and the bank has made us strong as we are today to start this, then we would have loved to be with them to move forward. Unfortunately, there are all the partners who have been with us here. I want to be grateful to my deputy, Mr. Kikoni, and the National Census Coordinator, who is there with us, and of course, our IT specialist, who is the, the director of data science. We have one of the best IT infrastructure today, probably not in Africa, because our situation, we have the servers, we have everything that we need. To do this work that we are supposed to do today. We have our communication center, we have our national census program manager, and we have our experts here. And these are three women, for instance, who we have trained. They are people, and they have also trained 15,000 um, Sierra Unions. So, this income census that we are doing and starting to do today, for instance, will leave behind the capacity for our own youth, our own budgets, to be able to do this beyond the sense, to be able to do this in other ways. And that is really very key. We are grateful to the government of Syria, and also to also start with the Minister of the Minister of Finance, the Chief Minister, and every other minister here who have really given support to this process. So we are going to be able to do this in order to do this process. This is the previous census, and we were convinced that it happened. We started with the locality very quickly. We went to the farmer chiefs, the section chiefs, and so on. We took the list that we had. We wanted to confirm whether or not we can go for it to decide. We find the process yesterday. I found my teacher when I was in form two. He taught me mathematics, and it's a problem. Chairman of the Council of Parliament. So that's the process we do. So we do, but now we went after that to the latest technology we can find with satellite imagery, and then we did a lot of mapping of the sun. We saw, of course, the, the list of the localities that the chiefs identified, and we saw other areas because we have a bird's eye view of everything in this country today. And then we took that graphic map, we did no issues. I want to see this opportunity as well to thank the people of Syria across all the chief dogs. They allowed us to go there. There are no issues at all, so we completed that. After that, you can see, we trained the thing out. We said, well, we cannot be doing this for the first time without having to do a thorough pilot. We did the pilot. We did 500 experiments in use of the technology. And then we 
we send them, we selected some of those the best among the ones when we did the pilot census. Why are we here today? The pilot census was also very successful across the country. No issues at all. From the north, east, south, west, the pilot was right. We selected the CEA based on criteria that was set by UNFPA, the World Bank, and we went to the field. So we learned the goals, the ugly things, and whatever, to advise our way forward. And so this is exactly why we are here today, confident that we are ready to do this. And after that pilot, we have also completed all the training of 15,000 enumerators. I call them all enumerators because as far as for today, it's about your capacity, it's about your commitment to the work. And we have to take a test and the discussion of the uh, digital technology. Everyone took that test and they got their grades. Yeah. We did not mark those tests for, for them. They marked the test themselves. So the best among those are smart French devices. And the training also was done in all these people for the fact. And I can tell you that I must thank the people of Sweden for their energies as well. So it means that if we could have done this to that extent, to have really trained 15,000 enumerators and supervisors, and we put together a, a team of data quality monitors, including our staff who are now spread all over the districts, we are ready to do this. We are ready to move forward. As I said earlier on, as a speaker, we have consultants. Two consultants came on the, on the 8th from Ethiopia. The UN Economic Commission of Africa is supporting us fully. And we have the Nigerian consultant, the Ghanaian consultant, the Cuban consultant. These are Africans who are the and we are encouraging them to transfer the knowledge to our own civilian products. Your Excellency, the training was done, the pilot was assessed. In my office, by UNFPA and uh, the World Bank, it was assessed. So we were surprised, Your Excellency, to see that some reasons for the World Bank to really um, grow in today. Some of these things, and we were surprised. We had no idea what would have led to this. But I want to assure you, and I want to really thank the government for this that the bank has made us really ready to do so. Before I close, the Excellency, I want to thank your involvement as well. We are colleagues in Kenya. We have 20,000 tablets and 20,000 of banks in this country today. And this is our commemorators after. We could see how the President of Kenya was really proud to give this and I can tell, I think I have to tell the public that at some point she had to call the university, your friend and brother, so that this could be done. This is where we are, and uh, again, I want to tell you that we form committees, census committees, technical committee, uh, advisory committee, and the policy committee. The, the advisory committee, all political parties attended, even the recent one that we had, APC, NGC, they were all very strong representatives of the country. from APC, Dr. Dennis Bright from NGC, and everyone, even if we did not agree, but they attended and right at that herself. So, when we say this is the people's census, it is indeed the people's census. People always need to agree with everything. But what in the end of it, what we started in 2018, has come here today to start the main of the bank of the God should continue to bless you and bless the people of this country. And we will encourage everyone to be down. Don't leave your household to go to us. We are coming to you. And as we are demonstrating here today, that's exactly what we do. Thank you so much. Thank you.
And uh, now, Andy you would like to uh, my technical team to ask you questions. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. So, yeah, maybe I say a few words yes. 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 <laughs> before, you get, before you come to me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. I think I should use this opportunity to thank Statistics Radio for the preparation. I think it is comprehensive. I've been involved in it. And at several points when you've had uh, challenges, you would come back to me. Like the point in instance was when you um, you decided to do it digitally, and uh, we did not have, we could not buy that number just for one um, uh, 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 census, and I had to call my colleague in in Kenya, and he graciously and willingly accepted to provide us these um, tablets and the power banks we spoke about. Um, I have followed all the, 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 the stages, and uh, you've rightly, comprehensively, too, explained how you have gone about the preparation, right from the village or town or, or chiefdom levels. So I want to use this opportunity to thank all of you and to say that I'm very proud of the team, and this is what we are talking about, human capital development. It is not always that we should resort to politics. And as you can see, you've done the preparation with the support and collaboration of a lot of actors around the country, in the villages, in the towns, in the cities, which means you have the support. As I've always said, it is us, the politicians, who, do, who, are, who are impeding the development of this country. This is a simple process. It has been done before, and you have upgraded your skills, and you want to do it again. And, you, and like you said, you substantiated with, with, with the support of others why you want to do the mid, uh, mid-term census. So if no one is afraid of what they have done in the past, they should not be worried about what the outcome of this, uh, of this um, census is going to be. You've counted before. Let me count again. Why are you worried about what is going to be the result of my own counting when we have a professional body that has gone through all the stages and is prepared? We should give you the chance. And I want to appeal to Syria unions around the country. This is a very important process. I hear people talk a lot about data today when they are on the radio. Where does the data come from? for everything that we do. It's not just about elections. The statistics provides the primary data for all the calculations, for all our for, for, uh, policy formulation, for everything that we do. This is the source. This is where you go. I want this data set. You will know now how you're going to use it. But if we don't have one, or we, want, we have one that is erroneous, then all our calculations are wrong from the start. So I want to encourage you and all Sierra Leoneans that this is an important process. We should come out and be counted. And for me, it's a pride and a duty, and I'm ready to be counted. Of 
of the mission launch. Here is how it is. Zero zero four four one seven one seven six. Presidential launch. Okay. So I'll hand over to you. We are not going to do this for every hour. <coughs> Mm -hmm. of the third symbolic, mm -hmm. but we want the since we supervise like we have tied this to this individual. The population meet our population and how they census. I will take the term small for maybe by the other form. So this is not presidential. No, no, no. This house is in my number. Well, I don't know where. So, um, it's internet based later on. Yes. Okay. So now I don't get the GPS reading. Which thing are they? Which thing are they? We are asked. Okay. Okay. So, total on that time, I will for free the people then from outside. Duty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And everybody not in population also. What is that you put in? Five In computer games, you can tell me you age. You know, we know you day, we get you day, we get events. Three years after in the telephone. Yes. Sending trained enumerators to count the number of people in every household, locality, section, chiefdom or ward in every district and in every region in this country. In the 2015 census, paper-assisted personal interview puppy was used. This time it's different. Yes, it's completely different. The 2021 midterm census will use computer-assisted personal interview, which is now usual at Statistics Sierra Leone for our surveys. In this case, there will be no need for data clerks to stress by entering heaps of questionnaire forms from the field. Also no need for trucks to carry heavy loads of paper questionnaires around. With the computer-assisted personal interview, field workers will enter the data directly into the electronic tablet and it would be transmitted directly to headquarters in Freetown. Heads of household should write down or even take pictures of everybody that slept in the house 